Would you like to help improve water quality in the Indian River Lagoon by providing habitat for filter feeding native oysters? It's as simple as making an oyster mat with Brevard Zoo. Here's how it works. Oyster mats were developed by Dr. Linda Walters of the University of Central Florida. Together with UCF and government permitting agencies, Brevard Zoo makes, collects, and deploys these mats along the estuary floor in parts of the lagoon where oyster larvae are in the water column looking for habitat to settle on. To make an oyster mat, we'll need three things. Recycled oyster shells, zip ties, and aquaculture mesh. Recycled oyster shell collected from local restaurants and seafood distributors is first cured in the sun. Then, volunteers drill a tiny hole through every shell. Other volunteers bundle zip ties into sets of 36 and cut aquaculture mesh into 16-inch squares. Once all the supplies are ready, they can be used to make oyster mats during a public workshop. Each volunteer at the workshop receives a square of aquaculture mesh, one bundle of 36 zip ties, and 36 oyster shells. The first step is to thread the end of the zip tie through the hole in the oyster shell and bend it into a U-shape with the ridged part of the zip tie facing inward. Next, loop the zip tie around two parallel bars of the aquaculture mesh, avoiding the four squares of mesh closest to each corner. Tighten your zip tie and listen for the zipping sound to make sure it's secure. While tightening your zip tie, try to keep the oyster shell as upright and perpendicular to the mat as possible. You can alternate tightening and adjusting the position of the shell in order to achieve this. Repeat the process with the remaining zip ties in your bundle, making sure to keep all the shells on the front side of your mat with the zip tie tails sticking out the back. When you're done, inspect your mat to make sure you have attached 36 shells and all your zip ties are tight and secure. There should be no large gaps between shells and your shells should be randomly distributed. If you're given permission, you can clip the extra plastic material off the tails of your zip ties using a zip tie gun. Be sure to recycle the extra zip tie material, then stack your completed mat in the designated pile. Each mat you make will one day provide a home for an average of 235 new oysters. With each of those oysters cleaning up to 50 gallons of water per day through filter feeding, that's a big impact for our lagoon.